Yo, what's poppin' fight game? It's your boy Shaq. Today we about to kick in a little bit about David Morrell and David Benavidez. They lined up to fight February 1st, 2025 at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. This fight will be on pay-per-view. I see a lot of people, you know, talking about why is this fight on pay-per-view? David Morrell only has 11 fights. Normally, I would agree, but I feel like this fight is actually a big fight. Two young guys in their proms fighting, and we don't we don't see that a lot in today's boxing. This is a very interesting matchup because these guys are, you know, fighting somebody their own size. I believe David Morrell he listed at six one, but David Morrell actually about six two and a half to six three. And David Benavidez is about 6'2". It ain't too often that David Benavidez is fighting a guy his size or taller. Morrell has a four each reach advantage. Benavidez is 27. Morrell is 26. Uh, I'm big on this fight. I really want to see this fight. But I'm not with a lot of other people. I never was like totally believing in the David Morrell hype. I'm not saying that he a hype job or anything like that. I think he's a good fighter, but man, like David Benavidez, what, 27 and 0, 28 and 0. David Morrell, 11 and 0. It's a big experience gap in this fight. And even at the press conference, I feel like David Morrell was a little bit nervous and intimidated. Like he, he wasn't as like, all that bravado that he been talking for all this long while, he didn't have that same bravado at the press conference when he was looking Benavidez in the eyes. I'm not saying he's scared, but he just didn't have that confidence that you thought he would have. You know, David Benavidez, he didn't been in there with some good guys. Anthony Burrell, Caleb Plant, David Lemieux, Andrade, like Benavidez, he been in there with some with some good fighters. Granted, you know, Darrell and Andrade and Lemuse and they was out of their prom, but they still was some well Andre and Darrell was still capable fighters. And Benavidez pretty much had his way. Especially with Andre. You know, Darrell gave him a good fight though. But you know, experience, man, experience in boxing and plays a a major, major factor. We just seen that with Canelo and Berlanga, uh, Tank, Frank Martin. Man, we just we just see how much experience plays a part in these type of fights. And I don't see an upset happening. But I'm going to give y'all my prediction on what round and, you know, how I see the fight exactly going. When the fight, like after their training camp and they make it to the fight. Then I'll give y'all my, my full prediction. But for right now, I got Benavidez.